guys it's been a while um i've been talking about making this video but i never really had time to do it um so this video is in response to people who always ask me for herbal contraceptives so the first thing i tell them because most of the people that ask me for herbal contraceptives are women and that is the strange thing is that you know we we they have, society has put the burden of contraception on women alone and forgetting that men too can also um, have male contraceptives anyway so when people come to ask me about herbal contraceptives i tell them the truth about it herbal contra contraceptives are not as efficient as the ones you use in the hospital they have a very high failure rate that means you could get pregnant easier if you are on herbal contraceptives than if you are on contraceptives you get from the hospital so with that in mind if you want to use herbal contraceptives or contraception yes you can but you have to bear that in mind okay so bearing that in mind that brings you to um, a topic that most people don't talk about and that is how do you use herbal contraceptives as a woman effectively and that is where male herbal contraceptives come into play so as a woman because you know that herbal contraceptives are not a hundred percent efficient they're not even up to 90 percent efficient so what do you do you have your partner use contraceptives as well as a backup so if yours fails his will be a backup now there are several types of herbal contraceptives i'm just going to so that this video will not be too long i will talk about the different types and then put the actual contraceptives in the caption of this video so you guys can read it now for male contraceptives or con for male contraception there are different types there are one spermicides so sper spermicides are uh, plant extracts that kill sperm cells so typically you know the woman will use it as a douche as in put it inside her vagina to make the environment of the vagina less conducive for sperm cells to um, survive that is one form of contraception then the other form of contraception for men is anti-spermatogenic contraception so these are herbs that prevent the, the male body from producing sperm cells so that process of spermatogenesis which is the production of sperm cells is inhibited when the man takes those herbs orally now quick one i forgot to say this all the things i'm going to mention are reversible contraceptives what that means is if you stop taking them after a period of time everything will go back to normal they are not irreversible now there are herbal contraceptives for men and women that are irreversible i will never share them on this platform because i never i would never know who will take the information and use it for bad in, as for bad intentions i wouldn't know so i don't think that kind of information is something that should be um, spoken about everywhere but the, everything i'm talking about now are reversible meaning when you stop taking it everything normalizes maybe after a period of four to six weeks now after the um, anti-spermatogenic herbs there are um, anti-motility herbs in this case what happens is that the herbs will not prevent the man from making sperm cells for producing sperm cells or will not prevent spermatogenesis the only thing they will prevent is the sperm will not move that is anti-motility that is no movement remember when sexual intercourse takes place where is the sperm um, deposited it is in the vagina 
you don't conceive in your vagina the sperm has to do what has to swim past the vagina swim past the cervix swim past the womb enter the fallopian tube before it can fertilize an egg so for sperm cells that are not moving properly that is rapidly progressive the chances of you getting pregnant are very slim so if you have herbs that can make sperm cells not to move they're just there they're not moving you will not be able to impregnate a woman and that is another form of contraception contraception for men and there are herbs that do that then the final one is the one in um, herbs that are um, uh, disrupt the hormones of a man in a man's body now these ones are not typically advised for you to use because anything you have that would um, disrupt the production of testosterone for instance which is a male sex hormone that is involved in producing sperm cells anything that would disrupt the production of testosterone can also do what lower the man's libido so you find out that the man is well you are having contraception but there is no urge or the man is having erectile dysfunction so for that kind of contraception it's rare people don't usually prescribe that but these are the four types of um, contraception that men can use and there are herbs that do that and all the herbs i am going to list in the caption of this video i tried as much as possible to get um herbs that or plants that people are more familiar with and use those as examples so um check the caption and tell me which one of those plants you are familiar with in the comment section of this video